Welcome, ladies. I am so excited to be here with you today. Uh, we're going to take about 15, 20 minutes of your time. You're going to love this, uh, this little surprise live here, this pop-up live. I'm talking with my beautiful friend, Sharon Hughes, who is a confidence expert. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Judy. Thank you so much. Well, I'm so excited. You know how much I love you. Sharon is one of my clients and she's a doer. She has a full-time gig, but she is doing so many awesome things in her business. She helps faith-based women like us gain confidence and a healthy self-worth, which we all need. She's also the best-selling author of a truly life-changing book called The Girl in the Garage. And she's the creator of the Call to Confidence podcast. So um, yeah, Sharon, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> you're my girl crush, Judy. Could you just follow me around and tell me how amazing I am? <laughs> you are extraordinary, no doubt. All right. So there's two things I want to accomplish today. All right. First, I do want you to do what you do best and share some amazingness in the way of building confidence for the ladies that are watching. And then secondly, I want to chat a little bit about next month's uh, social media and marketing retreat happening in the gorgeous Rosemary beach, Florida. Uh, but first let's, let's start, let's get back to confidence. Uh, ladies, if you're not following Sharon on Instagram, you really need to, she is at Sharon Hughes official. And, um, you know, what's on your heart to share today, Sharon, in the way of confidence in women that you're seeing? Well, wish we had more time, but okay, ladies, grab your <laughs> coffee. Cause here we go. We're going to go fast. <clears throat> uh, and I'm so sorry, they're doing construction outside and it sounds like they're banging like right here in my room. So I hope you can't hear that too much. No, we can't. We're good. You're good. Okay, good. <clears throat> First of all, there's a really big difference between confidence and self-worth. So like Judy mentioned my book, my book walks you through seeing how patterns of brokenness, which really lead to a lot of self-worth issues come into our life really unknowingly, they lay low under the radar and then they take hold. Hmm. I never had a confidence problem. I'm the kind of person that's always like raising my hand, saying yes, and like, just like runs at weird things because I kind of like all the, the crazy that goes on around trying to figure things out. Uh huh. But <clears throat> it's a huge, but I had very, very deep self-worth issues. So for example, I used to have an international home decor company called Pansy Cottage. I was in a showroom in Dallas and a showroom in LA and I had at one time about 28 road reps in the United States selling my product. My product was being seen like in magazines um, I, and it was just like amazing. I was very, very thankful to have that kind of press for my business, mm -hmm. but I felt like I didn't work hard enough for that press. I didn't deserve the accolades. And I didn't realize that for a long time. Like, it was like, you know it, but you can't, but you don't let it really come to surface. Mm -hmm. So when I went through a divorce and I got certified as a life coach, because I really felt like my life was shifting and I started doing really deep, hard work on myself. It was like that light bulb moment of going, oh, I love doing all these things and I've had tremendous successes in my life, but I always felt in my heart of hearts, it was never enough. I wasn't good enough to deserve what I had and just, and other big things like not being worthy of love. So a lot of amazing faith-based women, they're praying for their breakthrough. They're praying like, Lord, help me get my business started. Lord, help me write my book, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they're self-sabotaging really on a subconscious level because they're not dealing with the fact that they don't believe they deserve it. So we really need to step into, you know, God's grace, whatever it is that you're trying to do. He created you for that. He wired you a certain way. So first of all, stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. I'm in. Embrace it right. Embrace that we're not perfect. Embrace the fact that we all have stuff. We have our fears and our, and our junk and we need to deal with it so we can step into, you know, our greatness, the great way that God created you to be. Mm. So that's what I do. 
we should talk about why you need to go to Jody's Judy's event. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we have a number of people watching and so, and lots of love going on in the chat. So thank you for that, ladies. Oh, if you have questions, you. <laughs> if, you, if you have comments, comment. We want to we want to um, help you out in the time that we're here. Uh, yeah, Shamika just said Target. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think we all feel that way for, uh, you know, different reasons, obviously, but all right, let's pause for a second. Let's talk about this retreat. So you yeah. heard, you're one of my clients. So you were one of the first to hear that I'm hosting a social media and marketing yeah. retreat. I'm bringing four experts with me, a social media expert, an email marketing expert, a video expert, and a funnels expert, all amazing ladies. And you know, I shared with you guys in the academy that I was like tearful as I was meeting with these experts because I thought, Lord God, how did you bring these truly extraordinary and gifted women together with me? Because sometimes I have that where I'm like, who the heck am I to do this? But anyway, so you heard about this retreat. We're going to roll up our sleeves, workshop style, get things done. Why did you feel compelled to be there? Okay. I have a whole lot more to say about this than I did about that last piece. <laughs> <laughs> when I started my wholesale business, I felt God say, you need to talk to women about starting businesses. And I was like, okay, this is fun, right? So one of the clients that carried my product line has this gorgeous high-end tea room called Paris in a Cup. It's gorgeous. If you go look her up and the pictures are just amazing. Mm. Her and I became best friends. I called her up about a year and a half or maybe a year and a half after she'd been carrying my product. And I said, Cheryl, I want to put on an event and I want to do it there. And she was like, okay, what do you want to do? And I said, I just want to have events that bring women in and encourage them and teach them how to start their business. And she goes, okay, let's do it. Every single person I asked to be a part of this said, yes. At that time, I was advertising in Romantic Homes Magazine. I called the editor because she had featured me and I said, hey, will you come and speak? She said, yes. Like everybody said, yes. So for 10 years, I did events at Paris in a Cut and they were called Launch Your Creativity. We covered everything about how to start a business, even though there was so much I didn't know. I was more the encourager, the you go girl. I brought in the people that knew all the other pieces like yep. Judy's doing, like all the experts Judy's bringing. You don't need to be an expert in every single thing, you guys. Like we need to get over that, first of all. The difference was, and people got on planes to come to my event, which made me like cry and practically pee my pants because I couldn't <laughs> believe like somebody would get on a plane to come to my event. Like it, <laughs> it was crazy. But there's something about being in the room with women that are on the same path as you. And there were women, I'm not even kidding you, I was not prepared for this, that would come up to me crying at the end of the event saying, this is what I needed. Mm -hmm. And it was just crazy. So that's why I'm going to Judy's. You guys, I have spent at least $10,000 on courses. I bought all the courses, how to speak publicly, how to create webinars that convert, like all the things. And this year I was talking to the Lord and I was like, okay, we've been at this a long time. He had me pivot, you know, going into this whole area of serving women and telling my really crazy, messy story. It wasn't something that was planned. Like 10 years ago, if you would have asked me, I would have been like, no. But this year I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I'm done spending money. I'm done getting on planes. I have flown to several conferences where you leave with a lot of fluff, a nice goodie bag cute pictures at the pool and you come home and you still have no freaking idea what you're doing. I knew Judy was doing this event and I was not going to go. I was not going to spend the money. And it was like literally in the last, what, five or six days, yeah. Judy and I started talking about it. And I was like, I've been praying that it was like this year was like, do it or I'm closing shop. And I felt like God was like, okay, duh, this is right in front of you, go. And I said, I was like, okay, I'm going to go. And I'm not getting on any more planes after this to go to conferences. Like this has to be it. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So what do you hope to accomplish? What do you hope to leave oh the gosh. event with? Well, I know that the issue that I have had is not having all the back end stuff 
flowing exactly right. And I know that my messaging has not been as clear as it needs to be. Look, when you're talking about brokenness and a lack of self-worth, it's not like everybody raises their hand on social media or comes to my website and sees that and goes, oh, you know, I'm in, I need you. Like, I think that's a long process. We're so much faster to raise our hand and buy like an email funnel course than we are to deal with our junk. And I was like, okay, God, if this is what you're calling me to, you need to show up really big this time because I'm kind of done here. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. that's why I'm going is I want to be with women that are like-minded. I want to be in a room with women that are not in competition, that are there like supporting each other, you know, a sisterhood. And because I totally have a girl crush on Judy, like that's another <laughs> reason why I'm going. <laughs> and it's mutual. <laughs> To get out of California and actually have some sun on my face and my toes in the sand, like, I feel like it's going to be soul restoring, but it's also going to be pivotal to my business. Because mm. look, you guys, this is the truth. You can do all the courses sitting at your computer, staying up until one or two in the morning, trying to figure it all out. And sure, you can get some traction. I believe in courses, but it's a different game when you're in the room with those people. And the relationships that you foster, it's completely different. Those people are, are going to keep supporting you when you go back home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a great point. And, and this is so different from a large scale conference. This isn't hundreds yeah. of people. This is a right. mass of 10 ladies with me and four other experts. So whether the experts are live, some are live or, and others are virtual, but you're going to get hands-on real life, like live support. And That's we're having a ton of pre-event stuff going on. And I'm going to be opening up a private Facebook group. So you'll be getting that Sharon. It's going to be so awesome. We're going to have pre-event tutorials and trainings and, and different documents so that you ladies can come to the event ready to roll up your sleeves because it will be workshop style. So um, I just want to I just want to ask you one last question, and I hope this doesn't go to um, to a sore spot. But obviously, <laughs> you, you alluded to it earlier, and and you know, this an event like this mm -hmm. with this high level of expertise, where I rented this amazingly gorgeous, you know, six bedroom luxury beach house, steps from the beach, all that good stuff. It's not cheap. So, you know, you're, you're watching your dollars. Um, so, you know, take us through why, you, what put you over the edge? Cause it, you know, you were about ready to say, no, I'm not doing it. I'm already a part of the Academy and I have everything I need there that I need really to grow a business. So I wrote really need to go to the beach. Yeah. Like, so walk us through that. Like what, why, why, why attend instead of just keeping with the Academy? There's actually a couple of reasons to that. I had been praying about what to do next in my business. So at the beginning, like you said, I have a full-time job and I have a hard full-time job. At the end of the day, I'm tired. I'm just mentally exhausted. And I was like, it's so hard to sit down and try to concentrate on courses and funnels and you know all the moving parts and all that stuff. I felt like I needed to get away so that I could focus. No, yeah, I could, I got time off from work. I could stay at home and I could sit and watch all of, all of what Judy has in the academy, but it's different when you're in person and you're getting the one-on-one -on -one time. That's the beauty of this event, you guys, 10 ladies, and you're going to have four experts in addition to Judy. So you're going to have five experts. Look at that. It's a one to two ratio of you getting expert help in the moment. That's different. That's different than I've been to conferences where there's 500 people sitting in the room. You don't get anything personalized at that. You get a lot, a lot of good information and a lot of fluff, but it's not personalized because you can't get your questions answered. Right, so right. that was one of the big reasons. And, um, you know, and financially, you know, it's an investment. Okay, you guys, uh, obviously consult with your, your tax expert, but you can write this off. It's a, a business expense for you to attend workshops. So right. there's that. Like, like mm -hmm. 
I, and I know like with COVID and with like all the weird stuff in the world, people have had to watch their pennies. But this was like, even when I joined Judy's Academy, I was like, this is the Hail Mary Pass, Lord. I'm done. I'm so done with trying to figure everything out because I know everything about what I do, but like putting it in a package and getting it all out there, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's just hard. Yeah. And for those of you that are watching that are sitting there, you're like, okay, I have the money in the bank, or I know my husband would, you know, let me or whatever, but I just don't know. You know what? You need to go. You need to go. And if you're afraid because you're feeling like you're not as polished as everybody else in the room, you guys, I'm not even wearing pants. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding you. <laughs> I'm kidding you. I like to make people laugh. Pajama <laughs> pants, right? Because we only need to be dressed up from here. Me too. Nobody, nobody is that polished. Just yeah. come, give yourself permission to come and see what God has for you. You yeah. don't know. You will not know unless you go. Yeah. You don't and, know. Well, I so I so love you, Sharon. Sharon and I were chatting <laughs> over DMs yesterday on Instagram, or was it two days ago? And she's like, we need to go live because I want to tell my story to the ladies in the Facebook group. I said, great. We might even show up on Instagram one of these days, but I have one spot left, one mm. spot left. And, um, you know, I just want to briefly end it with the two big takeaways. I mentioned this is workshop style. This is not come, you know, bring your notebook and leave with to do's to do at home. This is, you know, have events prior to the event online in the Facebook group. And then you come and these are the two big takeaways. Number one, social media content calendar for 30 days done along with a process that you can rinse and repeat every 30 days. You're gonna have your content pillars. You're gonna know what to do when. You're gonna be able to batch create. You're gonna repurpose this. I don't want you to work harder, ladies. I yeah. want you to work smarter. So that's a huge takeaway, your whole social media thing done, okay? Then the second thing is, I'm all about the power of one. We have one God. Hello, do we need any more? No. <laughs> so we need to focus on one thing and master it. And so we're going to go deep on your number one marketing strategy, whatever that may be. And guess what? In the pre stuff, you're going to determine what that number one marketing strategy is. And when we're together, after hearing from the email marketing expert and the video marketing expert and the funnels expert, you know, and our social media expert, you're going to pull it all together and have detailed action steps. You're going to know what you're going to do every day, every week, every month. So I made sure this is going to be not only, you know, all of that, those two big takeaways, but we're at the beach ladies. And more than that, we're at my favorite beach on God's green earth, where the sand is white and the water is greenish blue. So <laughs> it's going to be some time to wind down and, you know, be a part of something where you're going to find your new business besties and in other conferences or rather other retreats that I've done like this. They stay in touch because there's something, there's a really tight connection that's, that is being made. So if, if God is nudging your heart and you're like, Oh, I want to, but it's probably too much. Maybe it is, but maybe it's doable. And just maybe the investment will allow you to do bigger things and be more confident in doing those things in 2021 than you even thought possible. So with that, oh, good. oh, I have to say one more thing about that. I have to say one more thing. When I found out that you were doing like some of the, like the, the setup work before we get there, I was like, that's genius because you're going to, you're going to get your pieces like, pulled together so that when you get there, it's all just cleaning everything up and, and answering your, your bigger questions, but getting like, seriously, getting everything cleaned up and ready to go. Cause I was like, we're not there that long. How are we going to do all this? But when you said there was a group the other day and we were talking, I was like, ah, I get it. And, and I truly think that's genius, mm -hmm. really genius. Yeah. Thank you for that. I mean, I really do try to anticipate everything. I'm all about uh, under promising and over delivering. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you ladies know, if you know me, if you've been following me at all, we're blessed to have a bunch of new ladies in here. But if you follow me for even a short while, you know that I put my money where my mouth is and I make sure to over deliver. So Sharon, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been great. It's so fun. Thank you.
All right. And ladies, I see your comments, but because of time, I'll go in now to do it as opposed to live. But if you have any questions, you want to DM me, leave a comment and I'll be back in touch. Once again, Sharon, mwah, love you, sister. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Bye. Have a great day, ladies. Take good care. God bless.